I am persuaded that um, post-election coalitions are more manageable than pre-election coalitions. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. In this matter, the, the issue of the running mate, I go back to it, should have been resolved on the basis of the popular support that a coalition is getting in the run-up to this choice. For example, if Kenya Kwanzaa was getting 70% support All right. at the cost, mm -hmm. you would reasonably expect then that the person who is bringing that 70% would come to the table as a running mate. Okay. It's the issue of you want to get numbers, but you are already trying to win the election using other numbers. So for example, you want to take a running mate from central Kenya, as Mio, for example, and you have to take a running mate from central Kenya, and you get 15%. Mm -hmm. When you are getting 70%, say, from Nyanza, yeah. or from Western, uh -huh. let's assume even it was Rift Valley. What would be the sense in that? Why would the 70% in Rift Valley support the, the candidature of a running mate of 10% from Central? Okay. If the numbers are in balance, yeah, yeah. it but, doesn't make sense then. But, but when you talk about numbers, you know you can be talking about 10% of 5 million votes against 70% of it, 1 million votes. That's why I talked know. about the balance. Okay. Yeah, but true, for, true. Example, yeah. for example, practical. Uh -huh. Western Kenya has 